Unit Seven, Environment, Chapter Fourteen, Our Environment, Important Terms, Cozy, Comfortable, Beef Box, Swamp and Marshland, Amenities, Facilities, Extinct, No Longer Existing or Living. Scientists believe that the first man appeared on the Earth about a million years ago. The primitive man lived in the lap of nature. He moved from place to place in search of food. Although he lived with animals, he was superior in intelligence. The brain of the man is better developed than that of other animals. Man walks on his legs. He uses his hands to operate tools. He learned to make spears, catapults, blows and sickles, wheels and cannons. As man got himself developed over the time, he started exploring the natural resources for his own comfort. He mercilessly began to exploit everything around him for his selfish needs. Greenhouse A greenhouse is a house made of glass. It has glass walls and a glass roof. People grow tomatoes, flowers and other plants in them. A greenhouse is warm inside, even during winter. The sun rays pass through the glass and warm up the inside of the house. The heat is trapped by the glass and does not escape. So, during daylight hours, the air gets warmer and warmer inside the greenhouse and remains warm at night too. Glass House Factoscope The ultraviolet and infrared rays from the sun bring in heat and light energy. The glass walls of a greenhouse do not allow the heat to escape. They keep the greenhouse warm. Earth like a greenhouse. Earth's atmosphere acts in a similar way like a glass house. Gases present in the atmosphere, such as carbon dioxide, act like a roof of the earth. During the day, the sun shines through the atmosphere and earth's surface is heated up in the sunlight. At night, the earth's surface cools and releases the heat back to air. But some of the heat is trapped by the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. It keeps our earth warm and cozy. It also keeps the temperature moderate, thus making the conditions suitable for survival of life forms on the earth. Earth as a greenhouse. Greenhouse gases. Gases that help in causing greenhouse effect are called greenhouse gases. These gases either occur naturally or are produced on the earth due to human or natural activities. Water vapor. The atmosphere contains a lot of water. This water can be in the form of gas water or vapor and in the form of liquid clouds. It accounts for 35 to 75 percent of the greenhouse gases. Carbon dioxide. It is produced naturally when people and animals breathe. Other natural sources include forest fires, feed box and volcanic eruptions. Methane. Methane comes from cattle as they digest their food. The gas also comes from fields where rice is grown in fields, coal mine operations, processing of natural gases, and forest fire also release methane. Nitrous oxide. When plants die and rot, nitrous oxide is produced. Ozone. Occurs naturally in the atmosphere. Some activities of man also produce greenhouse gases. Coal, oil and natural gas release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Cutting down and burning trees also produce a lot of carbon dioxide. A group of greenhouse gases called the chlorofluorocarbon CFCs are used in aerosols such as hairspray cans, refrigerators, and in making foam plastics. They are found in small amounts in the atmosphere. They are dangerous because small amounts can trap large amount of heat. The earth is wrapped in a blanket called atmosphere which is made up of several layers of gases. The sun is much hotter than the earth and gives out heat that travels through the atmosphere and reaches the earth. The rays of the sun warms the earth and heat from the earth travels back into the atmosphere. The gases in the atmosphere stop some of the heat from escaping into space. These gases are called greenhouse gases and the natural process between the sun, the atmosphere and the earth is called greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect Deforestation Absorbed by atmosphere and earth Oil and petrol engines Escaping radiation 
radiation absorbed by greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases and fossil fuels, edge of atmosphere. Global warming, increasing more and more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere leads to rise in temperature of the earth. This is known as global warming. It has been projected that the average global temperature would increase by 1.4 to 5.8 degrees Celsius over the period from 1990 to 2100. Effects of Global Warming With more heat trapped on Earth, the planet will become warmer. The weather all over the Earth will change. Water cycle patterns will get disturbed, resulting in more rainfall. Higher temperature will make the water of the seas and oceans expand. Ice melting in the Antarctica and Greenland will flow into the sea. All over the world, sea levels will rise, threatening the low-lying coastal areas to submerge. The change in the weather will affect the types of crops grown in different parts of the world. Homes of plants and animals will be affected all over the world. Some special plants and animals may become extinct. Changing climate will have adverse effects on human species living along the coastal areas. Development and Environment Industrial revolution and green revolution have great contributions in the modern development. New researches and investigations in science and technology have strengthened our efforts for development in industrial and agricultural sectors. But modern development has been declared unsuitable because these developments are carried forward at the cost of natural environment. With growth of human population, more and more land was cleared for cultivation, housing and cattle rearing. Developing towns and cities increased the consumption of land in making roads, rail tracks, buildings, markets and other modern amenities. About 30% of the land surface is useless because it consists of marshy swamps, deserts and mountains. These lands and vast areas of seas have been used for commercial use in some countries. Cutting of forest trees on a large scale or the clearance of forest land for different purposes is called deforestation. Many forests have been cleared for mega river valley projects, mining activities, setting up of industries, expansion of agriculture, etc. Effects of Development on Environment the process of damaging environment is called environmental degradation. The natural qualities of air, water and soil have been degraded due to pollution by agriculture, industries and other human activities. Land has been degraded severely due to overgrazing, deforestation, construction work, etc. The overuse and misuse of resources like fossil fuels has caused energy crisis. The ozone layer is getting depleted due to use of greenhouse gases like CFCs. The hunting and trading in the body parts of animals are causing their extinction at a faster rate. Teachers note, the teacher should ask the students to make a poster showing the preventive measures of global warming. Fact 5. The term greenhouse effect was coined by J. Foster in 1827. Two. Water vapor is the most abundant naturally occurring greenhouse. Let's summarize. 1. A greenhouse is a house made up of glass. 2. A greenhouse is warm inside even during winter. 3. Earth is like a greenhouse. 4. Water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide are greenhouse gases. 5. Global warming results in increase in temperature of the earth. 6. Global warming will increase